Hey guys, welcome to the Tinkerbox, and for this one, we are doing something suggested by Mr. Pelirano. I think that is how you say his name. If not, uh, my apologies. So, uh, we are showing off the F3 functions. Actually, I can do something with like a villager for this. So, basically, when you start off, uh, your game's just going to kind of be like this, just some basic information about things, and we'll just kind of start going through these F3 functions one by one. So, obviously, let me just, there we go. Normal F3 just opens up this Minecraft screen. If you hit F3 plus B, it creates this hit weird kind of hitbox thing that encompasses mobs. So, you can see that kind of white circle, or white square, I should say, around the mob. And you can see, if I try to punch him outside of that square, it's not going to register as a hit. So that is what that is. If you hit F3 plus B, it will bring up that hitbox. If you hit F3 plus B again, it makes it go away. Okay, so the next one is technically C plus F3, which will do a crash, but I'm not going to do F3 plus C because the recording will just stop, and that would be silly. So instead, what I'm going to do is F3 plus H. So, <clears throat> the way this works is if I do F3 plus H, and this is one I personally use all the time, you start getting item information. So if I do F3 plus H again, I have to be out of your inventory. F3 plus H, you'll see that I don't get that item number. If I do F3 plus H and open my inventory, I do have the item number and just switch over to game mode zero and use this once and then pop back into game mode one. There we go. You can see that it also shows the durability of the item. So personally, by default, I just tend to play with F3 plus H on because I just find it super handy to know my tool's durability. And if you do F3 plus P, it will turn off the auto, the, um, auto pausing. So right now I'm actually in a completely different window. In fact, I'm in a, in a Skype chat. What's up over here? Uh huh. That's interesting. But you can see that my game isn't paused. So I can click back on here and start resuming the game. Uh, I like to leave the auto pausing feature on. You can see that the pause menu just came up because if I am recording something and I have to go for a second on single player or the tinker box. I don't want things getting messed up. So, you know, I just tend to leave the auto pause feature on. But if you just play on servers all the time, it's something you can totally turn off because it does nothing for a server to auto pause, seriously. Okay, so now these next ones aren't very useful, I guess. Um, if you do F3 plus S, it will reload all website client information. So that would be like skins and stuff like that. If I do F3 plus A, you can see here it reloads all the chunks. So if you have a chunk error, that might be something you want to do. Uh, if you do F3 plus T, there we go. It will reload all of the textures in the game which is something I don't think you guys really need to worry about. Maybe if you have some sort of weird texture glitch, you want to try that. And F3 plus F will change the fog distance up, and Shift F3F will change the fog distance down. So those are all of the F functions, and I hope you found them freaking useful because they are the F functions. That, that wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be. But anyway... Uh, until the next time, I hope you guys all enjoyed this Tinkerbox video, and I will see you the next time I am around here. Toodles!